now that Jenkins is already integrated with GitHub, we get to see the end-to-end -end flow. Remember, this is, was the application that we deployed in another course on AKS cluster. So this is actually now running on top of our Azure Kubernetes service cluster. And what we need to do here to show you, for example, a change that me, I will do as a developer, a small change in the code. Just notice here, this is orange picture. What I will do, I will open. What I will do, I will open my Visual Studio code. I, here I have my source code that is linked to my repo on GitHub. What I will do, I will go to the static content fruits. And here you can open this one. You can see that I changed now the orange picture towards the moon. Just to make sure that it is very visible to you guys. So I just here renamed this to orange one and just renamed this moon image to oranges. Actually, I think there is a small typo. So let me just add oranges.jpg, not jpg only. So I'll do yes. I go back here and I refresh. Let me go to the source code. You can see here there is changes. I will add it. I add this change and I add this is also why I love Visual Studio Code. It's very easy to use it with all programming languages and with uh, source code management tools like Git. So I added the deletion, the deletion and let me add also this new photo, which is the photo of the moon. And what I would do, I would say again, updating pictures. I will press commit on this right. On this um, on this icon and then I will choose to push then I go directly let me go directly to our Jenkins let me just take it out a bit I go here you can see this is a new build number 12 bending in the queue but it will be done directly now yes so now it's triggered directly by what by this new commit that i got let me go back here this is my repo you can see that 38 seconds ago i did a commit which is again updating picture and if i go here to jenkins i can see that it, it's starting building build number 12. let me go here and make sure it's successfully built yes indeed it is built with success and last thing I need to do is to go to Azure and check if it has the up-to-date version. Let me open the portal here. I go to my container registries. This is my container. Let me zoom in a bit here. I go to repositories. And inside the repo, you will have a rating web. That is the, the image that we are building and voila here you find tag 12 so the image is already built and pushed the repo if i go back here to my application you can see that we have the moon image instead of the orange image so i did nothing except for me as a developer i do what i do best developing code of course not changing only pictures but this is just for the sake of the demo but i developed the code i push it to github it's directly using the Jenkins pipeline and integration between Jenkins and GitHub. It directly shows me the up-to-date version on my cluster.